from morning <laughs> from uh, the studio cult in Poland. Where about in Poland exactly are you? Krakow. Krakow. Yeah, I, I would say the nicest city in the <laughs> the only one you can stay. And uh, how many artists are working with you at the studio? Four uh, different artists. Yeah, the three are like just ba doing basic stuff. The like walking stuff and stuff. And there is another girl. She's doing like really ornamental stuff. Her name is Agrippa. Okay. She she's not big yet, but she's really crazy and obsessive about details and everything. So I she think. will be big yeah, at some definitely. stage. Yeah. And uh, how long have you been tattooing in cult? Uh, three years now. Exactly three years. Yeah. Mm. I came like three years ago in summer. Yeah. Okay. And uh, did you start in that studio? Or no, I was working? doing some. I was working in some creepy, <laughs> creepy <laughs> studios. I can say it. Yeah. It was like two or three different studios before, just a couple of months in one, a couple of months in another one, and like, it wasn't so serious, yeah. So since I came to Cold, I've started to work hard, so yeah, that's basically it. Oh, right, okay. Altogether I'm working like five years. Five years? Yep, and three years, like, seriously. <laughs> okay, and um, so you, I mean, everybody's seen your artwork, it's very graffiti-like, so were you an actual graffiti artist before starting tattooing? Yeah, I used to paint like, uh, since I was like 13, oh, right. yeah, the older guys took me like every time to go out to watch if it's everything okay, you know, and it was like really, really big thing for me, the whole graffiti thing, because if I'll never do this, I will probably never tattooing. It's a big because thing in Poland as well, there's loads of crews and... Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a terrorism, yeah? It's fun. No, it's great. No, I mean, it's it's great art as well, and you, we can really see it in your artwork that yeah. you have a lot of influence. Yeah, taken I think a lot this influence is like yeah. unstoppable. I cannot make it. Yeah, no, yeah, it. I can see that. <laughs> and um, also, you've been in the press lately. So, how did that change everything for you? Are you getting more appointments? Are you getting more contacts throughout the, the internet? Or did yeah, that change anything? It's getting really crazy with it. I don't know why. I think my works are not that good yet. I'm still working on, I'm still drawing every night and I'm crazy with it and like, yeah, I'm really, really amazed because so many people come in, for example, in here and asking like, yesterday I've got like 30 people asking me about if I got a spot left in here, it's crazy. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Yeah, and would you get, would you be taking people coming over to Poland? Yeah, definitely. I'm inviting everybody, giving cards <laughs> and saying like, can, I can help you with hotel, everything, Is you've got a cheap flights from there, so yeah, and, basically. Uh, so is it is the first convention you're doing is it or is uh, no I've been I've been in lots of them actually but uh, last year I've been first time in Tattoo Jam this is my second one and okay. I can say it's like my favorite one in Europe really definitely yeah because of the uh, venues of the uh, staff and everything it's like really 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 it's supposed to be this way yeah yeah so you're gonna be back next year definitely of if course. they're gonna invite me any other <laughs> convention plans this year yeah I'm going to Kuala Lumpur Malaysia in November. Uh, it's because I want to see more of Far East, as I told you, like, I've been just a couple of times in Japan and now it's time for some different places and I like a little bit get bored with European conventions because I've been in almost every country somewhere, sometimes visiting, sometimes working and everything, so I want to see like more far away. <laughs> oh, okay, so you're, so you're going to be back in Europe next year, so how long are you going to stay over in the Far East? Are you going to travel around? Or? No, I'm just going for the convention, then coming back in December, I'm staying a whole month in Cal. Right. And just going to the Berlin convention, mm -hmm. it's a cool one. And like in January, I'm going back to Singapore okay. for another convention. Yeah. Nice. So, are you booked up already over there? Uh, I've got some. Yeah, some people's asking me for to do so. I didn't confirm everything yet, but yeah, they are cool. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, talking about tattoos again, what, are, what, what, what's your favorite style of tattoo? Is there anyone you look mm -hmm. up to? Is there any artist you actually really, really like these days? Yeah, these days. Uh, actually, si since I started, I've just loved the one guy every time, Jimmy Litwalk. All oh, right. So I was lucky enough to meet him yesterday. Actually, after these four or five years, yeah. I was waiting. I got the piece done yesterday. Oh, by nice. Him. Yeah, and it's like really cute deer. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really happy because of that. I'm trying to not search every tattooist portfolios because to don't have so many influences, mm -hmm. you know. I prefer to draw my own way and everything. So it's basically like this. But yeah, he's a big guy for me. He's like he's doing this cartoon stuff. Really like uh, you watching the Disney movie or yeah. something. It's really cute. Really perfect done. And, and you yeah. love colorful tattoos as Yeah, well, definitely. So. I wouldn't say I like the particular style, like it's a mix of new school cartoon mm -hmm. and a little bit touch of traditional because of uh, lots of black, black shading and everything. Yeah. 
It's like a mix of everything. And is there any tattoo you would really love to do on someone? Is there any crazy idea you've got <laughs> you really want to do? I came, I came up with them like every second day. <laughs> and I'm, I'm lucky enough to get my customers like asking me for whatever. Yeah, and oh yeah, like, so you're the lucky one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if I get one idea, I'm sure like next week I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh really? Yeah. Is it really that good for you? Yeah, yeah, it's really. You know, the Poland also like, basically it was a country like five years ago, anybody just came to the studio gonna ask you about a black and gray monster mm -hmm. or a tribal, that's it. Or maybe some lettering. Yeah. And yeah, now it's getting like really big with colors, with like custom pieces, so it's so, very, very cool. And how's the tattoo scene in Poland altogether? Are there loads of yeah, artists? It's growing up very quickly, yeah. There is like, I don't know, 200 studios or something in my mm -hmm. country. It was like five years ago, maybe it was 50 or something. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's getting big, really. Really? Like and so many young guys starting to do cool things. <laughs> Toffee, Toffee is the guy who's really, really, really big now today okay. in Poland. Uh, there is a junior who did my other sleeve. He's a like, guru for me because he started like 10 years ago doing the really huge colorful pieces like whole sleeves and everything. Right. So that days in Poland were like really fucked up because everybody was doing just black and gray scary oh, things. Right. Yeah, and he was the only one doing some different things. So oh, yeah. So that's why you actually. And really basically, are... I've got the first skills after watching his working on me and everything. So yeah. Oh really? Yeah. He, so you learned from him. Yep. Yeah, he used to be like a mentor for me. So I came. I asked him for a tattoo because I wanna get this knowledge how mm -hmm. to do it and everything. And he was like very cool with it, we became close friends till that day, yeah. So that's great. And um, also, what are your plans going forward now? So, Because obviously, with everything that happened in the past mm -hmm. few months, you're getting loads of requests from loads mm -hmm. of people around the world. So what are your plans going forward? What do mm -hmm. you want to do? I don't know, actually, I used to have uh, lots of appointments like for this year in States, because I plan to do the, like lots of guest spots. Mm -hmm. I was invited to like... 10 maybe something different studios oh, so nice. I wanted to, yeah, to really make a trip like for two months go everywhere but I've cancelled almost everything because of my plans for uh, East right yeah so so you might be doing guest pass next year anyway yeah probably okay so you're going back to tattoo jam next year another European convention next year at all mm, definitely Berlin Berlin is yeah. like I've been there since three years and it's like pretty pretty much I love it yeah I love the city I love the time on the convention it's like really cool uh, Show it to Jam. <laughs> and jam yeah. London, maybe? I don't know yet. I still didn't have an invitation, so maybe we'll see. Oh, you might get one soon. <laughs> you never yeah, definitely. Know. <laughs> so, are you booked up today as well? Do you have any cool yep. piece coming up? Where are you yeah, doing? I'm just about to start uh, doing the like creepy zombie hand holding right. a gun. Uh, later in the afternoon, I'm going the uh, holy iPod. Oh, it's right. an iPod with a tiny hello and tiny wings and sh very shiny. Sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah. And after all, uh, after this, I've got a plane back home to the evening, so all right, that's okay. pretty much it. And then you're just going to plan your trip around to Malaysia yep. and definitely. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time anyway. We're just going to you. you go back to your work. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much, and hopefully we'll hear from you soon. Definitely. And uh, anything you want to say before you no. go? <laughs> Everything is fine, having a great weekend. Okay, let's say Davey loves you. Davey loves you is a sign, Oh yeah, what's you know? that about? What did you... I don't know, it's like, I really want to make people happy. Yeah? That's why I might just have coral through and happy and, you know... Yeah, you're just doing crazy stuff. Like yeah, you know, I, think, Davey's I believe popular. like, once somebody's got a tattoo, it should be happy because everybody should laugh. They shouldn't be scared, so these old black and grey pieces are like, ah, scary and creepy. Uh, like I'm not that. in it, so... I like Yeah, that. I want to make it happy, <laughs> just. But well, that's a good thing. Thank you very much again, All right, Jamie. thank you. Thank you.